So here we are, um, you know, going about 20 right now, but we were going at about 40, and uh, we were just on uh, the electric motor, so it, it allowed us to, you know, not use any gas at all. So, as you can see, there's this dial over here, or there's this uh, bar over here that basically shows how you are using the electric motor, and right now I'm in a mode called E-Mode and E-Mode basically makes it so that your drive uses uh, the most out of the electric motor so it'll try its best to use the electric motor without uh, requiring any gas um, without requiring the engine to be running so right now I'm pumping it a bit and as you can see the electric motor bar is going up where you can see Emacs. After it reaches Emacs, it, it switches to the gas engine. And on my left, what you see is an eco bar and a charge, uh, sorry, an eco bar and a charge bar. And what this is, is it's basically, uh, you know, the eco shows how you should be driving to get the most out of your fuel. And the charge basically shows how you should be braking or how your car is regenerating its power through your brake force so as I brake my charge increases and yeah so now see as I gas up it switches to the engine but it's hard to gas up now because I'm not really going that fast since I'm stuck in traffic. Um, another thing I'm going to toggle through is I'm just going to toggle through these screens over here. So one shows consumption. What you want to do in your hybrid is you want to try to uh, stay in the zero mark. So this is done mostly by uh, you know, gassing up slowly and things like that. You'll find you'll get the best use out of this car in city driving. Um, another screen that I want to toggle through is um, not navigation. Okay, that's the headlights uh, adaptive front system, which is only available on the top high end one, which we're driving here. Yeah, so those are the only two screens I really want to toggle through, but it's just um, interesting to see how much. Uh, gas you can save or how much efficient you can be driving just by looking at these two screens here Oops. this screen and the screen another thing you'll notice that's interesting about this uh, the way this car drives is if I just let go of the gas I'm not I'm not on the gas right now nor am I pressing the nor am I pressing the brake right now and uh, you'll see that the charge has already increased a bit this is because the car charges ever so slightly even when it's decelerating so that's something interesting to note um, okay yeah so I'm I'm trying my best to not use the engine so what I'm doing is I'm just pumping it very slowly but uh, it seems to go on the engine. The top I've been able, the best I've been able to do in terms of speed just on the electric motor is about um, about 30 kilometers an hour. After 30 kilometers an hour, it, use, it kicks back to the gas engine. Um, another thing I noticed is after you drive, um, say you drive for about, uh, say you're driving at about 60 or even 80, um, if you let go of the gas and just pump it slowly, uh, you'll be able to stick to the zero consumption. Um, but again, this just depends on such things such as uh, you know if there is no incline or something on the road, then it won't require the engine to kick in. But you'll be able to get a lot of uh, use out of the electric motor. One of the downsides about how this car fills up is uh, I have. I have filled up the car today and it has required me to fill in premium gas which isn't really a plus. 
um, it really questions, you know, are you really paying the price of a hybrid while having to pay premium gas at the same time? Um, so that's something you might want to take into consideration. Another thing is uh, the braking on this is not, uh, it's, it's, it's very powerful brakes, don't get me wrong. It's probably one of the best I've seen uh, in Volkswagens. But uh, because it's a hybrid, uh, there's some regenerative brake lag. So what that means is when you pull your foot back up, you'll notice that it takes the car a few milliseconds to um, you know, let go of the brake because it's still charging uh, the, the system. So something that, I, that kind of bothered me at first, but after a while I just got used to it. Overall a great car. Here we have a 5-inch uh, touchscreen. Um, you have dual climate control. But again, we're on the high-end one, so uh, what you see here is really uh, costing, going to cost you uh, over 32 grand plus uh, Canadian. So with the with the base price of around uh, 16 16,000 for the non-hybrid versus, I guess it's almost 30,000 for the base model hybrid. Uh, you really have to consider uh, what you want and how efficient um, it's going to be in the long run considering the fuel premium price as well as uh, the premium that you pay up front for the hybrid.